I have told you so many times to track your progress, right? But I did not tell how to track your progress. You know, tracking progress is essential because if you track your progress or if you do self-assessment, then only you will get to know whether you are improving in speaking English or not. Am I right? Yes, obviously. Otherwise, what will happen is that you may think that no, I'm not at all improving in this language even after putting a lot of hard work into it, right? And you will easily quit. That should not be the case. If that should not be the case, you need to know that you are improving day by day. So, in this video, let us discuss how to track your progress by yourself. Okay? How can we assess our improvement by ourselves? Okay? So, without any delay, let's dive into the video. Hi, Namaste. Welcome back to Learn with Gautami channel. As I said earlier, it is really essential to track your progress because only then you will come to know that you are improving day by day. Okay. So, what are you going to do is that you are going to take random topics. Okay. You are going to take random topics each and every week and you are going to do the activity that I am going to tell you now. Okay. This activity helps you to do self-assessment. Okay, before that you need to remember that if you want to compare your English, then you need to compare your English with yourself only. Okay, you should not compare your English with others. That is another topic that I have discussed in other video. But you need to remember that if you want to stop comparing and if you need some help, this is the video and the link will be provided in the description box. You can check it out. Never compare yourself or your English with anyone. Okay. So, what is this activity? The first thing that you need to do in this activity is that you need to list out different topics. Okay. Weather, family, relationship, environment, education, picnic spot, birthday celebrations, meeting a school friend, get together party going to meet an important person in your office okay like this you need to list out the topics that are randomly coming into your mind don't stress out whatever comes into your mind put that particular word on a piece of paper i mean you can take it as a flash card okay either a flash card or a piece of paper and you are going to write the topic write the topic or write that word okay for example you can write chair fan table you can write the name of the places also. Park, Switzerland, Ireland, Himalayas. Okay. After that, what are you going to do is that you are going to prepare 20 to 30 chips. Okay. After that, you are going to put them in a box. Make sure that you do this activity every week. Once in a week. Okay. So, what are you going to do is that you are going to take one sheet and see what activity has come okay for example family okay then what are you going to do is that you are going to start speaking about that particular topic okay don't take any notes don't stress yourself don't google don't do anything okay you are going to do this activity after you are familiar that you are able to speak english right it may be broken english it's okay but at that time you are going to do this activity so don't take any notes just speak randomly just two to three minutes or three to four minutes it is enough okay don't bother about the time just speak it may be three minutes it may be four minutes it may be ten minutes whatever comes into your mind about that particular topic just speak out while speaking the important thing comes now while speaking you need to record yourself during recording you are going to observe right if i am recording now i will observe my facial movements i will observe how words are coming in a flow right so without panicking you are going to record if you don't want to record on a camera just record your own voice after that in the next step what are you going to do is that you are going to listen to it what are you going to listen you are not going to check whether you have used the correct words or correct grammar no just listen whether you are able to bring the words in a flow or not. Okay. 
that is the first thing that you need to identify whether you are able to catch the fluency or not later on you can enhance your vocabulary and uh, work upon your grammar okay first thing that you need to observe and catch is that whether you are able to become fluent or not during this activity what happens is that you are going to observe yourself and you are going to compare this recording that you have done today with your past recordings then you will easily get to know whether you have improved in this particular speaking skill of english or not okay this is how i track yes i watch my videos i watch my previous videos and i compare i compare whether i am able to speak fluently or not i compare i compare with myself okay if you do this activity for at least one month if you are self assessing yourself then you will easily get to know that you are developing or not and one more thing that you need to do after completion of this activity is that you are going to take a pen and a paper and write what are your achievements okay for example if you are able to catch the words fluently you are going to write that i am able to catch the words fluently but i am grammatically wrong okay grammatically wrong and i am not able to put the appropriate words there okay for example if you are able to put the appropriate word there but you are not fluent then what are you going to write you are going to write i am able to recollect the correct word but i am not fluent i am taking long pauses okay if you observe that you are using more filler words then you are going to mention it i am using a lot of filler words on which i am going to work upon from now okay if you write it down then you will have a clear cut picture on which activity you have developed and what are those that you need to reduce okay filler words are one of those which you need to reduce fluency is one of those which you need to increase right then what are you going to do the next whole week while you are speaking and while you are working upon your speaking skill you are going to keep it in mind that you need to put more focus on vocabulary okay or put more focus on your fluency so simple right so try this out okay so as you are going to prepare 20 cheats at least then it is quite easy for you okay just sit down with a pen and a paper along with sheets and write whatever that you are interested in you can write your favorite place you can write your favorite person you can write your things or any topic anything it's okay but make sure that you are recording yourself and assessing yourself this is called self assessment nothing more okay tracking yourself is very important even if you quantify your time you are putting a lot of efforts and lot of time into this if you are not tracking you will not come to know whether you are improving or not okay that is the reason i made this video separately so i hope this video is useful to you if so please put it in the comments let me know in the comments whether you liked this video or not and please do subscribe the channel this channel needs a lot of support and please click the like button and share it to your friends and family members thank you for joining me till the end see you soon in the next video